Hi, this is Tasha, the Crafty Crowd. I'm going to show you how to um, use Monogram It today for your embroidery um, machine. For I have a brother um, PE700 um, embroidery machine, and I use Monogram It for my monograms. But I also use Monogram It to do other um, designs that I like, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's take this and do turn it around. Okay, so. This right here is the way monogram it looks um, on your screen. You can see, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see a faint um, outline of the, of the hoop. And you can actually pick your hoop size. So like select, so up here, you see it right there, select um, hoop size. So you can select your hoop size. Let's see, if, sorry. Okay, so you select your hoop size. I'm just going to keep it on um, 200 times 200. Okay, so I have my hoop size. Now, just to do a regular monogram it, you're going to go up to this corner. Oh, it's hard to see. Okay. Um, okay, so you're going to go up here where it says monogram it. Where's my, okay, there we go. Here, right here, it says monogram it. So you're going to click on that. And now um, these little screens are going to come up. So I'm going to do... I'm going to click on the monogram maker, and then, okay, and then you just go down in the screen and you click once. Okay, so now this little box comes up and you can pick monogram one with a one letter or um, up to four letters. So usually it's three letters, right? So we're going to do three letters. We're going to use, um, let's use a one that's pretty easy to read. Let's just pick that one. And then let's just do a monogram. Okay. Right here is your size. You can change that. But we're just going to do it like this for now. So come on your screen. Okay. So there it is on your screen. It's pretty small. So if you want to make it bigger, you just click on it. And then over here on the sidebar, um, a little box will come up and you can make it bigger. So if we want to make it bigger here, I'm just going to put two oh, point zero zero, and then you'll see here it'll make it bigger. So you want to center it, of course. Okay, so it's centered there and you can change this to, it's going to shrink it again if I change it to a different font, but let's just take it down to a Let's just do that. I'm going to make it three just so we can see it. I'm going to hit apply and then you'll see it change. And so see there it changes. And so you can do that. That's with the monogram. So you can do um, one letter up to four letters. Okay, so that's how you, and then of course when you're finished with that, you're going to go up to this corner up here and you're going to save it. Well, now I don't have anything to save. But you're going to save it to, I save it to my, um, I don't have my machine plugged in right now, but if I would, it would come up as an external, um, I think, E drive. So I would save it to that, but you can save it to the desktop. And then um, down on the bottom here, you're going to have to pick what your format is. My format is um, a Brother PES format, so I'll save it to the PES format, and then um, you know you can name it, and then of course you can find it on your desktop, and then you can just drag it over to your computer or to your machine once it's um, plugged in. Okay, so and another thing you can do, which I do a lot with Monogram it, is um, I go back up to this little corner up here, Merge Designs, so I click on that. And now I'm just going to pick a design from um, a collection that I have. Let's just do this real quick. Okay. While, it's, while that's loading, let me just show you my machine. So I have the Brother um, embroidery machine. This is an embroidery machine only. Um, it does have a bigger imprint area, I believe it's 7 by 
um, eight, I think it is. I, it, it's the bigger, um, it's not just the four by six. It is the bigger one. So um, it's actually really nice to have a bigger imprint area so you can do um, bigger designs. And then, like on my machine, my machine already comes with certain um, designs like here. You know, these just kind of generic designs here. And then if I, if I have my machine plugged in right here, which I have a USB port, um, I would hit that. And then um, once I have it plugged in, it automatically go up to there. Okay, so here we go. I, I just um, inserted a, um, a design, a horse. So I have a horse here. I can make, I don't think I can make the horse bigger, but I can change it around. Right, so I have the horse here that I can change around, and then I can um, I can either add a monogram or I can bring another. Um, let's see, So you're just going to go like to your either to your DVD, to your CD that you have it downloaded, or to um, wherever you have you know your designs downloaded. So here, um, you know, I could put letters and write somebody's name on the bottom here. Let's just do A N. I'm just going to do a short little name. And then, of course, you know, you want to line it up. Oops. Okay, I didn't want another D, so. I, I just picked a short name. I, I don't even know anybody named Andy. Okay. So here I have the name, and I can change this around. I can put you know the name over here going downwards I can make it go around the horse's head and yeah, bring the horse down so there's all kinds of ways that you can design it you can I mean it's really endless and then when you're done you're gonna go back up here to the little um, save button and you're gonna save your design and then this is you know this is gonna come up here so I'm gonna do desktop Actually, what I'll do is I'll plug in my um, I'll plug in my machine so you can see it what'll what'll come up. Okay, so I'm going to exit out of there, and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to save it. It, it comes up as a removable um, e disk, so I'm going to save it as Design Two, and I got to save it as my format, so Brother Format. And you can just um, you can save this in all kinds of formats. So um, you know, depending on what machine you have, you just gotta make sure you have it um, on your machine. Okay, so there it is. It's uploading to my machine, and it doesn't look very good there, but it does print out good. So I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna upload it to the computer. And now this will tell you my your colors, and you can change your colors. So it'll you know go through and tell you what colors you need, and the machine will stop and tell you when it's time to um, when it's time to change the color and if you want to do the layout you know you can center it you can move the design around you can rotate it probably can't rotate it this way because it's too big and then here it tells you the size of the um, of, of the loop that you need I'm sorry the hoop that you need you can take it back to reset and then here you can actually um, hit that, and it'll show you where it's going to print out. I don't have a hoop on here, so it's you know it's kind of kind of hard to see, but it'll show you exactly where the design field is going to be. It's not a, it's not an exact design field, so you got to you know kind of just play it safe. It will tell you um, you know the highest point, the lowest point, the center, and all that good stuff. So. Um, but anyway, so that's Monogram It. I think it's a really cool program. It is a little pricey, but I think it's well worth it. 
They have another one called Letter It, which I would like to buy. Um, I haven't gotten around to getting that yet. Um, I kind of just do this as fun, so um, I wanted to get the... I don't even know if I knew about the Letter It when I bought um, the monogram. It. But the monogram, it's pretty neat. Um, so I hope that helps. And you can, I think you can actually do a demo on online um, from, it's called Amazing Designs. Um, and you can actually do a, um, like a sample and see if you, you know, like it. You can't, you can't save the sample or upload the sample or anything like that on your, um, on your machine or to your machine, but you can um, use it. You can just use it to um, kind of see, you know, get the hang of it and see what it's going to look like on the computer. But um, anyways, I hope that helps. Another software that I use, it's a free software. It's called, um, let's see what it's called. I think it's SEU -E Design. I'm not sure what the actual name of it is, but it was a free design, and I actually had that on um, YouTube, the name of that um, design. And you can actually import pictures um, and transfer those to a um, to a PES file or to a, um, a printer, a embroidery um, file. This is the free one that I use a lot, too. So Stitch Universal. Um, again, it's it's a free one that you can get. It's I'll show it to you real quick. So, takes it a minute to to load, <clears throat> and and you can, I think you can actually do quite a bit with that um, program if you take the time to learn it. Um, you can change stitches, add stitches, delete stitches, all that stuff. I don't know why it's not coming up. Maybe I won't show you because it won't come up. But um, let's see. Let me see if I can click on one of these. I actually converted. It's saying that I'm not attached to the connected to the internet, so that might, that might be why. Okay. Yeah, I think we actually got a new network, so my husband's gonna have to come up here and, and enter that for me. But anyways, um, hmm, let's see if I can open that one. No. Yeah, I'll have to sh come back and show that to you another time. There are also a bunch of free um, embroidery designs that you can um, download online. Just Google um, free embroidery designs. And um, you, there's actually quite a, b a few of them that you can um, download for free. There's um, a number of them. So if you, know, you don't want to buy any CDs or anything um, to start with, you can just download those. Um, you'll, of course, be limited. You won't be able to really pick what you want to use, um, just kind of what's what's out there. There are a few, few webs, websites that have free downloads every 10 minutes. Um, they're always different. You know, pictures are quite a few of those. Um, just, again, Google it, and I'm sure they'll come up. But I hope that helps. Um, next time, I will show you my machine. I'll show you how to thread it and everything. It's um, a really neat machine. I, I've, I've really enjoyed it a lot. So um, if you're thinking about getting an embroidery machine, this is a really reasonable one. Um, and it's, it's not that pricey. Um, it's, you know, they're not cheap, but they're, they're fun. And this is not one of the high, high-end ones, but I think it, it does just as good as any of the other ones do. They do have an embroidery and um, sewing machine one that's all built in one. That I had to begin with but I wanted a bigger imprint area so I upgraded to this one. That one was actually pretty nice too. Um, I can't remember the number on it um, but I have a few. My very first embroidery videos were of, of that particular um, machine. So anyways thanks again for watching.